Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Privateer FX Asian preview and the daily North American wrap. We had an interesting day. It all started in Asia last night when the uh, Turkey Yen stops went off. Let me take a look at that chart. Go down to an hourly. I'll show you that price action. So this was in your morning where we had a big move up here um, dollar turkey came under a lot of pressure here's a dollar turkey um, there's a dollar turkey chart there from last yesterday and the uh, European open from 467 we got up as high as 493 just shy of 493 see here on the hourly bar uh, the Central Bank of Turkey came out with an announcement that they had an extraordinary meeting and then they hiked um, the late liquidity window by 300 basis points, which was not as much as I thought they would do. But you can see the outsized reaction, and that's just because of the huge up move. So we went from around 480, 450, and got all the way down to 454. So 30 big figures. If we look at the daily chart of dollar turkey, um, we did put in a reversal lower day. It was trying very hard to do a bearish engulfing, but didn't quite get it because we couldn't close below the previous day's low. Either way, this is a statement. They made it, and uh, be careful being long dollar turkey at this point. Um, we are looking to buy it all the way down here, these old highs at 4, 419, 420. So till then, I'm kind of staying out of it. Uh, but, uh, you know, yesterday on the European Open, or sorry, the Asian Open, it was really just a yen, yen cross day. So you can see what we did. Dollar yen got all the way down to uh, 109.55, and we closed up here at 110, 110.08. So we did close below the 200-day after having six consecutive daily closes over the 200 day this could be sign of further weakness uh, we're, we're definitely uh, looking for a dollar correction I think dollar yen would be uh, one, of, one of the nice ways to play it um, and you can look at all these yen crosses you know Aussie ended up closing kind of midway midpoint of the range CAD yen same sterling yen euro yen was one that we were looking at yesterday this 129.30 Five to uh, twenty-five to what was this low here? Fifty-five. So that was a very nice clean break. If you look at your shorter-term charts, uh, we got through there. We got all the way down to one twenty-eight, twenty-five. Then had a bounce in New York and settled down here. So this is a bearish close. We we did close the day below these old lows and. Uh, and but even below this old low, 128.95. So for me, I'm still looking to sell yen crosses. Um, you know, dollar yen might be the best way to express this because uh, we are turning uh, slightly bearish uh, the dollar, and I'll explain why in this next chart here. Let's take a look at the 10-year yield. Here it topped out at 313 for the 10 year. Had that uh, bearish engulfing day last week, and then a couple doji type days, and another big down day. So, a lot of people are calling for this correction to get down to right around this 290, this old low. Um, you know, we think it could even dip down to the 100 day, which is up down at 283. So, if we do get uh, a weakness in US yields, that's going to put some pressure on the dollar. And uh, you know, after the dollar had such a nice run up, um, we do like playing uh, tactically short dollars. And you know, maybe maybe for the next couple of weeks, uh, assuming that today was not just a one-day wonder of dollar selling, um, you're starting to see cable bounced off a support level around 133. Kiwi's a little higher here on the uh, after the decent uh, trade number that just came out. So we got 
you know, a couple lows here at 68.85. Got this cycle low here at 68.50. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these currencies are looking like they're they want to turn higher. You know, here's Aussie, just kind of sideways to higher. Dollar Max is another one, big bearish engulfing day. Now let's not forget that Dollar Max led. We go all the way back into April. We got down to 1795, and we had a couple up days, and we had this big up day here on the 19th. Dollar Max really never looked back. So Dollar EM seems to be kind of leading the way of the rest of the dollars. And if you see what happened today with Dollar Turkey. Big reversal lower. Um, dollar Rand had an outside reversal lower day, and Dollar Max, and then the Dollar Yen chart not looking all that great with the close back below 200 day. It leads me to, to to lean towards selling dollar rallies, and maybe this goes on for a few weeks into the next Fed meeting, which is pretty much 100% priced in for a hike in June. Um, the market took today's FOMC minutes as slightly dovish. I think it was just more of an excuse to take some profits on your on their dollar longs. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, equity equities closed near the highs, just on the uh, the pullback in yields, and uh, but you know not not too exciting day for the equity space. So yen crosses, keep those on your radar. Particularly looking for more yen strength. Perhaps against the dollar is the best way to express that. Good luck, and uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.